there are a lot of people here in the Houston area that's cut off from essential services right now because of the waters in some places are still high, even though the storm is gone. They are letting reservoirs reflood homes because they said that they can't break. So families are dealing with that being flooded basically by their local government. So you have this one brother that's going to be out standing and trying to defend the community from Pookie and Ray Ray looting up the place. Our community, it's a shame. We need more real men out here to step up to protect where you live. This storm is temporary. You right. Right. Because they out here tearing the club up. Yeah, he got a real ass shotgun in his hand. Hey, that ain't for fake. Go back to that storm. I'm telling you one time, I'm not scared to shoot you. I'm an ex fucking SWAT deputy. I will cut your ass in half. I'm going to that store no goddamn more. I ain't got a problem with shooting. I still got life. They looting the stores and this man out here is trying to literally protect the community because oh he's saying the storm is on. I still support law enforcement. Those that do right. Do right. Lord Jesus. Y'all, this shit is getting this shit is real. And they are not playing out here. Did anyone call 911 for you? 911 ain't gonna call mama. 911 is out of there. It's either martial law or everybody else watching. 911 is out of there. That's why I say it's martial law right now, baby. There's no law. There is no law. It's under curfew to where we ain't gonna be back in the streets. Yeah, that's all they, this is, they trying to turn this into martial law. This all they trying to do? Trying to take the man's throat. Oh, they trying to take the man's throat. Throw this man out here with his shotgun, y'all. It is yeah. not a game. HPD riding back a dump truck right now, armored hey, AR-15s. Hey, hey, go back. Hey, put it down. Oh, oh shit. my God. Next, 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 next. y'all, dude. Yo, look at that one running over there. Oh, my God. Dude, this, y'all, dude. Lord. This shit is just... Ace PD officers right now in the back of them city trucks. All them armed AR-15s got to go back to the neighborhood. They're still on the water, flood, and trying to protect these people. Yeah, and it don't make no doing. sense that these guys out here too lazy to get a damn job. The energy they use in the rock, they need to try to use that energy to rescue people. Hey, look, man, my friend over here, man, stop in the loader. Let them know what you're doing, homeboy. Protecting the community where this I live. I'm a man of color that grew up in this area. Nothing. I'm a former law enforcement officer. So I understand what the law says. I got a right for protection of a third person's property. If you're looting, you're stealing. It's a violation of Texas law and federal law in a time of a catastrophe. Do not enter people's homes. People protect yourselves. Constitution right. says you got the right to bear arms. That's a right. That's a right. That's a right. That's a fucking hero. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all, this shit is for real out here. Real. And I got real yeah, serious. So this is what the hell the news ain't showing y'all. This is what we're going through on top of this storm. We, I was scared to call a rescue boat because the people on the rescue boat is rescuing people and they fucking robbing us, y'all. Dash Space John. Dash Space John. Dash Space John. Yes, God. So we can't call rescue boats because they have fake people posing on the rescue boats. And when they come to your house, they're robbing you in this storm. So we can't really call nobody to rescue us. You literally have to get out yourself. So my family, we had to get out ourselves. We couldn't call nobody. Now we got this man walking around this parking lot with his damn shotgun, stopping these looters, y'all. On man, it's, it's everything out here. This man standing out here with his gun, and he is gonna pop somebody, y'all. We almost just watched him shoot somebody. Got out of there. They ran about this store. This man is right here. He is not playing. Everything is flooded. Everything. <laughs> and we got our K-Paso. Hey. And everybody meant to lick a store. Bam, homie. Hey, Eddie. And that's a hard rider guy. Y'all, don't nobody know what the hell we dealing with out here. They just showing y'all that everything is underwater on the news. That's it. All y'all know is everything is underwater on the news. This is what's going on outside of the catastrophe.
Yeah, this is what's going on that we're dealing with outside of. They done put y'all see the oh doors is gone, God. and he's watching the store. They done. That's the ATM right there mm -hmm. on the ground, y'all. That's the ATM on the ground. Want to reach out to our supporters and viewers to help support the Houston Flood Relief Fund. We just got over ten thousand dollars this weekend. I want to thank every person who has helped donate to that cause. And as you saw in the video we posted out of Dickinson, Texas, people need help. They need to start their lives over. There's an estimated thirty-three thousand people who are homeless now, and they don't know what to do. So we want to come in as part of the community and give supplies, medicine, and other needs that the people greatly must have to start their lives over. Now, looking at this brother, this brother is someone that I would love to shake his hand, I would love to sit down with, because this brother is defending his community. We need men out there defending our community, because them little hooligans, Pookie and Ray Ray, running around looting and thugging it up, they just trying to take advantage of a horrible time period to do some crime. Now, as their brother stated, if they would actually get them a job, they don't have to go out there and steal anything because I don't know no person with a job is running out there doing that right now. They're trying to protect their family or they're trying to get back to work or figure out what's going on uh, with the whole situation after the storm. They're not out there doing this sort of thing. Now, this brother is out here with this gun. Some people don't like the situation. And I'm gonna tell you what, I support him 100% what he's doing. I believe in defending your property at all costs and defending your community at all costs. Because the same little hooligans that's running around to be the same ones that's actually getting in boats and robbing people. Or they try to call people and say, hey, could you help us get out of the home? And here they come trying to case their place and wait till they leave and come back and steal what they could. I mean, it, this stuff is going on all over the place. So I have no sympathy at all if that brother or anybody else uh, take care of one of the looters. Now, some people want to say, well, they only call in black people looters and not nobody else. Anybody who is out there robbing businesses and robbing homes is looters. Doesn't matter about a color to me. And I feel the same thing should happen to every last one of them, no matter if it's Pookie and Ray Ray or Julio or, or Brad or anybody else they want to rob. Don't care. Get your job, find something else better to do. Why don't you take that, the brother said, take that same energy and go rescue people, help out instead of being out there trying to run around with some dumb TVs that you can't watch because you have no power in your location. I talked to a lot of these people in Dickinson and just to hearing all their stories, some of them that I didn't put on camera. And then you, I sit up there and watching them run around stealing. I mean, it just, it just pissed me off. So I understand that brother's frustration. As you heard what the sister said, it's like a martial law in some places. You got to get it how you live. Cause they're not coming to do anything for you. As you know, they've been passing black people up in poor areas as well. So you got to do for self. This is why I had a conversation with a lot of brothers in the past few days and talked about how we all must do for ourselves completely because tropical storm Harvey showed me the black community has no way of helping itself out. And if it don't depend on the police or anybody else to help them, then they got to do it on their own in which that's the position that we're in. We need to start buying boats, jet skis, anything that you can to move your family out in a crisis, period. Instead of investing our money in Jordan and hair extensions and name brand clothes, start putting your money together, start getting some boats and jet skis. That way, if this stuff happened again in this area, you can get out. We need to get brothers together to, to start our own little, I stated before, African Navy. At least 30 brothers with some boats to go save people in the community. Cause I was they're going to pass us by and like, forget, you know, us. Now they have people that's private citizens that was going to help save people. Now, I don't want, don't want to take nothing away from them, but it was private citizens, not the first responders is worrying about people in the middle class and upper class communities. That's usually how it goes. Poor people will always suffer the most in any kind of natural disaster. 
because of America's class system. We must, for our own survival, do for self. And anybody that's telling you not to do for self, then they're not your friend. They're definitely your enemy, 200%. Because everybody else can do for self, so why would they tell you not to do for yourself unless they want you so crippled that they can benefit off of you being in a position you can't do for self. And I, I get why they would tell you that because look all the money they're making hand over foot because you're not in a position to do for self. That's why. So why ruin a good thing? So tell you that doing for self is racist and banking in your community is racist, you know, that sort of thing, because they want to continue to get your money. But then when the rubber meets the road, those people aren't really there for you that much. Notice who had to defend the community, a brother, wasn't nobody else. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this. Share the video. Like the commentary. Subscribe for more news stories.